increase both of those. So that's been very nice. Wow. I've never made this kind of money in my life, so I'm enjoying it. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. Yes. Um, what I would have done differently, mm -hmm. I definitely would have um, gotten more, my team more involved in the Blitz and maybe um, got more connected with them. I didn't really do any trainings, and I talked to some of uh, the teammates that I had before the Blitz started and kind of brought it up to them and I guess just kind of left them to read stuff on their own in the groups without realizing that some of them work outside of the home and they missed a lot of things um, concerning the blitz or different things that were going on in the group. So that's what I would have done differently is connected more with my team. Awesome. Um, big learning experience. Definitely the jerk. And <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, having higher posture about the, the type of people that I want to work with. Um, I respect the power of this business tremendously and I don't recruit a whole lot of people but most of the people that I do recruit stay so I'm trying to focus more on the quality people who really do see the potential of this business um, but the posture thing and you know in almost the three years of my last business I never really learned that I just would coach anybody that was willing to join and they would end up quitting on me and hindsight I would see well they were never really that committed to it so um, I'm trying to learn, hang on to that learning experience from now on. Yeah. You know, Sam, if I can just chime in real fast. I think that's yeah, one definitely. thing that leaders, um, that's kind of what separates, and I don't want to say like amateur in a bad way, but amateurs from leaders, because I learned that too. If you really want to have, I mean, it's so much more than just bringing people in. It's bringing people in who you can nurture and uh, who's really going to listen to you and take action. Um, there's been several times this blitz where I've turned people away and I said, no, I'm sorry, I can't work with you. And as hard as that's been because I wanted the numbers, I learned it's more quality over quantity. And I really mm. think that that's what separates leaders from amateurs, you know. And as hard as that is because you want the numbers, you just got to remember what is going to be easier, not only on you in the long run, but what's going to be best for your team because it's not about us anymore. Right. That is so right. true. Well said, well said. Yeah, I mean, Samantha, the whole uh, posturing thing, it was funny, we had a conversation during the Blitz, and uh, I was like, ah, you know, I haven't sponsored anybody in a few days, and, uh, you know, I usually sponsor a lot more when I'm not trying, and I was like, oh, yeah, you should probably just go back to, like, not not trying, and the whole and yeah. the whole not trying thing is, is how she's postured, meaning I really don't care... I don't care either way whether you join the business or not. If it, if you do, great. If not, that's cool too. I'm still going to be cool with you. And yeah. and and as soon as we had that conversation afterwards, you sponsored a person like a half hour later. <laughs> yes, and then when the next day, I'm like, I just as long as I don't try, as long as I'm like, whatever, I don't care if you sign up or not. They just come out of nowhere. I don't even know half these people. <laughs> All right, so Samantha's secret is don't try. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yes. <laughs> In the morning, I wake up and I was like, "Oh, three people just joined my team in the middle of the night. Cool, <laughs> yay!" That's awesome. Actually, uh, something I said recently that somebody actually quoted me on is, uh, "You know, if you chase people, they're never going to follow you. You'll never be a leader." That's true. Congratulations, Scott. I've definitely seen you evolve into a huge leader right now. Yes. Thank you. Caleb, you have been so amazing um, these past 30 days there has been times where I have came to Caleb like wanting to cry and I'm just like what am I doing wrong and he's been so patient with me and he's been so dedicated to helping me and you seriously have no idea how much that means to me like if I could give you a hug right now I, I would <laughs> <laughs> thank you Skylar that's awesome, awesome. And congratulations to the second and third place winners of this too very inspiring I'm proud of everybody that, t that uh, took this by the horn and it went for it. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Definitely. Hey, and last but definitely not least, um, we're going to bring out Kate Rome. I want to hear the same uh, the same awesome feedback from you as well. Uh, number one, what did this, uh, this blitz do for you and your business? What were your results like? And what would you have done differently? And third, what was the biggest thing that you learned during the blitz? thing that I learned and the biggest thing that I learned during the blitz is how to follow the leader 
I mean, we played that game when we were kids, follow the leader. Everybody wanted to be the leader, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, sometimes when you try to take things into your own hands and you try to experience it in your own way and do things, you know, out of the realm of, of how we're taught, things kind of fall apart. If you follow the leader and you follow the person who is actually doing it, you're going to be successful. And I learned how to do that. When Ron, or even Caleb, Ron is my direct sponsor, when he speaks, I listen. When he says, this is what you need to do, I don't care what I have to do, what time of day or night it is, that's what I go do. And why? Because he's doing it. And if he's doing it, and he's telling me, this is what you need to do, go do it, then I'm going to be successful too. And I actually found that out during the blitz. Wow. Um, yeah, definitely. So, you know, and, and leading by example, you know, I try to micromanage. I feel that when, you know, my biggest mistake was I feel when I bring people into my team that I need to make them be successful. Um, I learned that really the only thing I can do is lead by example, just as, um, you know, everybody else was saying. You know, you have to lead by example. You can't manage and micromanage people. You can show them, you know, what you're doing and how you're doing it um, and give them the opportunity to do it themselves and try, instead of trying to make them do that. And it will come for them in time. You know, they will learn to follow the leader also. And so it's the whole duplication process that finally came to mind to me, what the whole duplication process really truly is. So I think those are the things that, you know, and being held accountable, I mean, before the blitz, you know, I knew that I needed to do this, 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 and this, but there were days when I would be like, you know what, I mean, I was sick for like seven days, really bad, but Mm -hmm. it still held myself accountable to at least do half of what I committed to do. And I think, you know, that was so important because before the blitz, you know, if I was really busy or, you know, something else came up, I would just say, well, you know what, I can, I can go ahead and do that tomorrow. I can call that person back tomorrow. Um, during the blitz, no, stop right now. You know, this person called me. They, you know, they want to know about the business. I'm not going to put them off till tomorrow. Um, you know, just, just committing to that, you know, having to send that commitment in every single night to my leader who's trying to help me, you know, was – was something that I think was a major, major asset to my business. Wow, wow. So I've, I actually have two, two questions um, for you out of curiosity. So would you say by using the, the point tracker and, and being uh, accountable not only to yourself but to someone else as well, did you develop this, um, this you know, prospecting, this methodology, did it turn into a habit for you? It most definitely did. I mean, because I may have talked to, you know, seven people that mm-hmm. day and it's seven o'clock at night. And, you know, even if I was tired, I would be like, you know what? I have a goal. It doesn't matter if I sign anybody up or not, but my goal is to talk to 10 people every day. Mm-hmm. You know? And I mean, actually I have quite a few people kind of on the fence. I will not go to them. I showed them the opportunity. They know how to get a hold of me. I post things on my Facebook so they can see how I'm doing. Nice. And they can come to me now, you know, because you, you want people in your business that have the initiative to step up to the plate and make that commitment. You don't want to drag them into your business. Mm. So, mm-hmm. and so I think that's the key. Whole, exactly. And, and I think the whole accountability, um, the point tracker thing was just phenomenal. That's something that I probably won't stop doing for myself. You know, keeping my own point tracker so that, you know, every day I know this is what part of my job, this is what I do for my living, and I need, you know, I need to do this or I'm not going to succeed. Yeah. Kate, you can keep sending it to me, too. (laughs) I'm happy to have it. (laughs) Hey, I think one thing that everyone needs to know, and I mean, it's hard to remember that, and this is, I guess this was the biggest mistake I made trying to recruit my other companies, is if you have to convince people to join, you're going to have to convince them to work their business too. Mm. By doing that, you're going to be micromanaging, 
And that's why I left direct sales because I was tired of micromanaging people. And I'm like, you know what? I just leave it be. Um, if someone says, well, follow up with me on whatever date, I'll follow up with them. And if they don't message me back, I'm like, okay, bye. You know, um, okay. message me you're ready to take this seriously. And I don't say that to them exactly, but I just let it be. I detached my emotions away from it. And I said, you know what? If people really want to do this, they're going to come to me. I give them the information. Now, whether they decide to do something with it or not is up to them. Because to me, time is money in this industry. And I'm not going to give someone my time if they're not going to take it and actually do something with it. And so I think every recruiter and every network marketer who chooses to be team leaders like we are needs to make the decision on who they're going to spend their time with because that's essentially who they're spending their money. I mean, like I said, money's time. You spend people, you want to spend your time with people who are going to show results and who are going to actually take action. Right. Yeah, you're exactly right. Um, time is money. Time is very important. You know, so, and, and I just, I... I followed Ron's lead. He had a conversation with me um, one day for about 20 minutes, and I just pretty much took in everything he said. And one thing that I do specifically remember him saying to me, because I was having a really hard time with this, detach. Do what you're supposed to do. You know, lead by example. You go out and do it. Then your, your recruits can follow you. If they choose not to... You know that's that's okay that that's their choice but as long as you're doing it and they have someone to follow and look up to and do what you're doing and you're leading them to the information you know that's what we need to do and and I find that when you let go and you do do that then your recruits begin to actually follow and do what you're doing because you've done what your sponsor has taught you to do and your leader so it's just like mm. detaching and letting go and letting it flow. Yeah, that's powerful, Kate. That's powerful. Man, you guys, all three of you ladies have just grown tremendously. Um, it's like night and day from the beginning and, and end of this blitz now. I'm, I'm so impressed and, and proud and, and blessed just to be working with you guys. You guys rock. Thank you. Well, we have, an awesome, we have awesome leaders. I mean, look at you guys. So. <laughs> You're the one who brought this whole idea out here. You're a true leader, bro. Yeah. For sure. Definitely. And uh, I think I see. Yep. I said I think I I see three. Uh... You and Aaron. What's that? I said I couldn't have done it without you and Aaron. Aaron was the one teaching me how to recruit, and you were the one keeping my butt in track. And... <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. I mean, you know, I mean, and, and there's Caleb. Caleb is so fantastic. I mean, if you post something, I'm reading it. I don't care yes. what I'm doing. If Caleb is posting something, I'm reading it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Everybody else. Definitely, okay. definitely. All right, let's jump back into this. Thank you guys so much for your uh, your feedback and, and sharing that with us. Um, okay, so you answer those questions. And next, what do we have for us here? Bear with me here. First time using this platform. Hey, Dave, is there anything you want to say? No, I think Dave's muted. Out there. Um, yeah, oh. I mean, I, I really just say that every one of you gals kicked freaking ass it's like girl power all over the place in here tonight and um you know i'm, I'm blown away by watching you you know like you're doing exactly what i did when i started ds domination i i mean my first month i recruited a bunch of people i think over 100 and i kind of just did a massive push and that's what a blitz is designed to do it's designed to start you off with a massive massive push and build your teams fast and if you can do that then, you know, comes a time where you can actually lay, you, you can relax a little bit and watch your teams grow and help your team when they need them. But, you know, I mean, I, I think, Ron, you'll, you'll pitch in there with me, but a blitz is designed to really give that initial push when someone comes into a business and build that team as quick as you can. Right. And girls, you know, I mean, you just, you, you, you've blown me away, you know. The, you, you just have on speed to us. 
That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, well said, Dave. You know, normally um, blitzes are done. You know, you're going out to connect with people every day. You're, you're bringing people into your business. You're getting the right mindset. You know, and you got to have that attitude that who gives a shit if someone joins or not because there's an abundance of people out there. You know, you can't be hanging on chasing people around the place. You're the prize. And I can see that attitude developing in every single person. Yes. Yeah, that's the most important thing is, you know, don't worry. If they want to sign up, they sign up. You talk to them, I give them a couple minutes and tell them what it's about. And, you know, you move on to the next one. Right, right. Okay, can you guys see the PowerPoint again? Yeah, yes. Okay, great. It's, uh, it's Sorry, I sat on my mouse and it kicked me out of the webinar. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, so we have our do-it-yourself Facebook formula, and we got our, our own formal name now. And this is, uh, you know, Facebook recruiting is something that me and Aaron have been doing for uh, years. I know Dave's been doing it for years as well. Um, so he, he's kind of he's kind of fine-tuned and, and really honed this this process down to a science. Um, and he's, I think, two of his his best success stories are. You know, the couch queen, Delilah and Skyla. Uh, Delilah and Skyla. <laughs> they rhyme. Um, but um, Aaron, Aaron is, uh, you know, kind of brought this to the team. And, and let's just talk about him for a second. He, he can't, be with here, uh, can't be with us here tonight at the moment. I think he's tied up. But um, Darren is the number one recruiter in our entire team, in our, in our Facebook group. He's the top dog. Um, numerous times he has been in the top 10 for the entire, uh, company as in personal recruits. Uh, not only that, you know, Aaron is an industry recruiting trainer now. He's, he's doing webinars with Delilah and, and other people teaching people how to do, um, you know, Facebook recruiting and, you know, they're charging, they're charging money for it. And he's bringing it to, to you guys and our team, um, for free, for no cost to you. This is one of the most coveted and, uh, necessary skills you need in, in any kind of network marketing, direct sales, or, or business like DS domination. You just, you know, if you want to build a residual, you gotta, you gotta have this skill set. So, uh, excuse me. And he's just one of the the best MLM leaders. Period. I've known uh, Aaron for years and worked with him. And any, every time I was on an incentive trip, Aaron was right there with me. And Anytime we were doing a national expansion team meeting or getting higher level coaching, he was right by me too. And, and we didn't really know each other at the time either. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But Aaron is uh, is creating leaders and trainers um, you know, in our team. And tonight you're going to be hearing some cool stuff from our one and only Skyla. Warning, she is one of our emerging leaders. She's in the house and she's going to be breaking it down, the DIY formula. I'm not going to have her... Uh, give away the entire puzzle today because we have uh, we have trained on this before. It's in our DSD team training site. You can find that in the Facebook group at the very top in the pinned post. You want to make sure that you get on there, register, watch the trainings uh, back there. We have all the tools that you need to succeed, whether it's drop shipping, whether it's affiliate marketing. We got it. It's there. And, uh, you know, these three ladies tonight, they simply implement, implemented. They were here at the beginning of the Blitz. They watched. They saw the training. They implemented. And look at the results they have. So, Skyla, I'm going to turn it over to you. <laughs> first of all, I want to say this is kind of like my first time teaching people how to do this. So, bear with me. Um, Ron said he would help me if I need help. And Delilah, you too. I know I mean, you do this on like a weekly basis, like five times a week. So yeah, well, Aaron and I have the the formula that we run together for people that aren't in DSD. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. And um, you know, honestly, I think that well, one thing you got to remember, and people keep asking me, how are you recruiting so many people? And I was like. I don't know. I'm just following what Aaron told me to do. <laughs> I'm not doing anything special. And I think it's so easy to recruit NDS people into DS domination because this is such a passive company. Like it's it's such an easy thing to do. 
Mm-hmm. It, it's a, it really is. It's so easy. It's one of the easier companies out there in this industry. And I mean, you don't have to recruit people to make money. You don't have to. I mean, you can make more money on eBay than you can recruiting. The only difference is it's residual and one's residual and one's semi-residual depending on, you know, what items you have. Um, so the first thing I want to make known and the one thing Aaron definitely wanted me to make known is, um, one thing you have to remember is if you want to recruit people, you need to be talking to people. You can't, and what I always say to my team, especially when it comes to eBay listings, the more hooks you have in the water, the more fish you're going to catch. So unless you're talking to people, you're not going to be recruiting that many people into your business. And that's huge. I made it a point to talk to, and if, or at least try to, talk to at least um, 60, between 50, 60 new people a day during the splits. There were times where I couldn't, you know, obviously I have two kids. They do keep me busy. Things come up. Um, my husband was sick for almost two weeks and was out of work. So that was really hard because I was trying to take care of him and my kids and the blitz. And so, I mean, I was being pulled in all different directions. But it just that's just one thing that I want you to remember. I mean, whether you're doing the affiliate side or the eBay side or both, the more hooks you have in the water, the more fish you're going to catch. That's key. So the more people you talk to, the more people you're going to recruit. Um, I'm just going to screen share here real fast. Okay, uh, this group right here, 5K hey, friends and 30 days. We're still looking at Ron's screen. Oh, let me...